Hello! Welcome to episode 3 of making a 5 minute tourbillon wristwatch. In this episode we're going to be making the barrel bridge screws. These screws are M1 so they're nice and chunky and we shouldn't have any issue making them. First thing to do is to turn the outer diameter of the head of the screw and then the next diameter we turn is the actual thread diameter. I'm using roller dice so the diameter of where the threads are going to go is extremely important. Microns do matter here. Here I'm putting a slight lead chamfer on the end of the threading diameter. This just makes it easier for the rollers to start the thread. Next is to come in with the roller dies. So I've disconnected the spindle from the motor and loosened off the belt. This allows me to hand turn the spindle and go as slow as I need to get the threading process nice and smooth. We definitely don't want the steel breaking off in the die. I then loosen off the tail socks grip on the roller die and manually remove it. One thing to note here is that I didn't use oil, but in the future I will be, as that preserves the life of the rollers and leaves a nicer thread. Next step is to part off to the final length. Don't forget to catch it. Now it's time to cut the slot. Here you can see me centering up the blade on the center of the spindle. Be as accurate as you can here because that will really affect the width of the slot. Now I'm going to touch off on the end of the screw and now give me my zero point to determine the depth I need to go. I'm cutting in five hundredths of a millimetre increments and my milling attachment is really nice. I'm able to just pull up on the milling attachment and that does the cut for me. I'll show a clip later on exactly what I mean. It's hard to describe but it's a lovely feature of this milling attachment made by Luc Monet. So once I've gone to final depth, I then retract the cutter, I rotate the screw 180 degrees and do another spring pass. That just makes 100% certain that the slot is in the center of the screw. Here you can see exactly what I'm doing with the milling attachment when cutting the screw slot. Now, time to make three more. So now we've got the finished screws, it's time for hardening and tempering. To harden these screws, I wrap them in copper wire, I then dunk them in water and then dunk them in boric acid. This just allows a nice barrier around the screw and removes all the oxygen from the hardening process.
My filming is dreadful here, but I'm bringing a screw up to a nice cherry red and I'm holding it there for a few seconds. That allows the heat to penetrate deeper into the screw, ready for quenching. So the screw is now hardened and it's got a bit of scale on it. I put it in the pin vise ready to be cleaned up in the lathe. So here I've got a horsehair wire brush in the spindle of the 8mm lathe. I then put a substance called Autosol on the brush and I rotate the screw through the compound on the brush. This cleans it up nicely and allows me to see the colour change during tempering. Now on to tempering. So I've got some brass filings in a dish here and I want to bring the screw to a purplish brick red. When final finishing these screws, I'm going to be bluing them and I'm going to bring them past that purple brick red to a final purple color that I'd like to achieve. The trick with tempering and bluing in general is to go as slowly as you possibly can. Evenly heat the whole surface of what you're trying to blue and slowly watch it come to the color you want. So I've now taken them to the 8mm lathe again to clean them up. Let's try them in the watch. So the diameter of the top left screw head was a bit too big, so we just quickly took it into the 8mm lathe, skimmed off a bit of the diameter, and it worked a treat. And there we have it, the 3 quarter plate barrel bridge, secured to the main plate, finally. Thanks for watching this episode, be sure to like and subscribe. Tune in to the next episode where I will be undertaking the Torbjorn Bridge and the Torbjorn Bridge Pillars. See you then.